All right, the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweepy here, bringing you part five of Baldur's Gate 2 Dark Alliance. Now, last time around, we saved the Wayfork village from an army of traveling goblin jerks. And now we're going to go into this inn and see if there's anyone in it. If you were it, they will come. You can avoid using your favorite suit of armor to metal eating rust monsters by unequipping it around them. Oh, God. Metal eating rust monsters. That does not bode well. How dare oppose me? <laughs> I'll wash this house with your blood. Oh god, the goblins are even inside the inn. That is not and another boss, Harnack the Butcher. Oh boy, this is gonna get very messy indeed. Oh, this is not gonna bode well. Oh, this guy actually blocks. Alright, you pesky goblin bastards. Alright. My minion, let us kill this butcher. You take the aggro, I will shoot him in the back. Wow, my minion's doing a good job here of tanking this guy. <laughs> this is going to be pretty easy. <laughs> Onak the butcher may be able to block, but he's completely distracted by my minion. Fool. Hope you like these arrows in your back. <laughs> Wow, this is pathetically easy. I bet this guy would have been a lot more tricky if he didn't have a minion to back you up. Yep, just keep on taking those arrows, Harnick. And down he goes. Oh god. Kira's wounded. But at least we've managed to defeat the annoying bugger known as that butcher guy. Ooh, yeah, that Well, we have destroyed the butcher. Guess we'll take this loot. So, according to Walter Coppins, we're expecting to find a shop very shortly, but not just any shop that is apparently with a winky face. So, we'll have to see um, what happens. But anyway, let's just talk to the people we have just rescued, starting with the innkeeper, I guess. Like a righteous comet from the sky, you are. Had you not come now, I dread to think what could have happened. Leren is my name, the innkeeper. I thank you with all my heart. <laughs> What's my skeleton? How are you doing in the middle of this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, that is so goofy. This is brilliant. My skeleton now is the best cutscene interrupter ever. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I could help you, Arani. Take these few small things as a matter of reward. It's the least we can do, seeing as you saved the village and all. My thanks, uh, fellow Halloween keeper. Ooh, we got 500 gold coins and a thousand experience points. Nice. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is so. Oh, we can't actually smash these up. Oh, what a shame. Uh, all right then. So let us talk to Randella, the caravan mistress. Well met again. Rescuing damsels and saving villages. Careful, or you'll give adventurers a good name outside of Cormir. <laughs> I'll have to spread word of your successes to my friends in Baldur's Gate. Oh, my thanks, Randella. So, shall we go? Baldur's Gate awaits us. Well, I have a couple of questions first. Later, later, when we've reached the city. A fine tavern, sipping spiced wine, playing my yarding. <sighs> and so, I'll answer your questions then. Now, shall we go? Uh, not just yet. Not just yet. I want to talk to uh, anyone else who's up for a chat around here. Fortunately, it looks like they've managed to kill a few people, but... And they've walked off the upstairs. It was a smart choice. And here's a... Uh, um, Kayla again. He looks a bit wounded. Well met again, adventurer. Looks like she's fought a few off herself, perhaps. So, tell me about these Red Fang Marauders. Monsters. Brigands. Mostly goblin kind. They've been raiding around Baldur's Gate for months. The city's soldiers can't find where the lot of them hole up. God, so they've got some kind of plan on Baldur's Gate, do they? Are there any outlying villages? 
Those bastards. Alright, well, it doesn't look like there's a shop here of any kind. We can talk. To, must be something with the innkeeper, perhaps. Well met again. Oh. Well, there's a new catalog option. Have you heard any rumours of wait? Note, wait, wait. Nothing that could help you, no. We usually avoid adventurers and their talk here in Wayfork. Most of them are rough and dangerous folk, if you'll pardon me saying so. Well, one of those rough and dangerous folk just saved your tavern, so... <laughs> Fair enough. Well met again. Alright, she's got nothing else to say. <coughs> so, I guess we will have to take Randoa to Boulder's Gate. So we can pick up a hand axe, but... Well met again, adventurer. So, <laughs> Who's so again? Baldur's Gate what are you doing us. now? He's just jogging in place. <laughs> God. This girl with Dominion so awesome. <laughs> Alright, where does go, Vandella? Where does go, I guess? Oh, okay. And. So then we act one. Alright, so now we begin the game proper. That was just a prologue. Now we begin the real Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. In the Keep of Pale Night, apparently. Ah, oh, I guess I wonder what would happen if I go up that road, then. Ah, oh, probably nothing. My lord, the interrogation of the prisoners is complete. They know little. Nonetheless, I would hear it. They said Eldrith used the Onyx Tower to make shadow gates, which allowed her to move troops around the western heartlands. They claimed that when they slew her, the tower crumbled. Yes, Khan's current employers, the Zentarum, seek to restore the tower and the power it holds for themselves. They use those three fools to wrest it from Eldrith's hands. However, the tower would better serve me and my allies in the east. I must have it. Yes, my lord, but Khan, the prisoners claimed they killed him in Xantum's guild. <laughs> no, not Khan. He's well known to be exceedingly difficult to kill. Khan must have feigned his death, just as he what? was never truly working for Xantum. It's more likely that the Xantarum paid him to eliminate Xantum, which he accomplished through our three guests. Oh. I see. And the guests. Shall I kill them? No, no, my good Zanhast. Leave them be. I'll amuse myself with them later. Oh my god. So after all this time, Khan was in another plot. Oh, At last, I'm not going to Baldur's Gate, your reward is promised. May the coin serve you as well as you served me, adventurer. So, what will you do now? So her full name is Vandela Brassworth, huh? Yeah. I'm an adventurer by trade, so I'll need to find some work, I guess. Hmm, well, I haven't decided. Well, technically, Zuin's supposed to be seeking out a mage here, but screw it. I'm an adventurer by trade. I'm going to find some work. Hmm, well, I have some matters to tend to. Informing the relatives of the slain guards, the recovery of the caravan's goods, that sort of thing. Okay. But should you require my help or are looking for work, please find me at the Purple Worm Inn. I have associates that could use an adventurer of your formidable skills. Farewell for now. Alright, Randoa, that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll get some side quests off you later. Wait. A loading screen just for a cutscene? Seriously? <laughs> We've had two of those in the last five minutes. Okay. That's a lot to take in, but wow. The one with the... Well, here we are once again in a part of Boulder's Gate anyway. Perhaps a slightly different part from the first game, but nevertheless, oh, the entire map's revealed to us this time. No pretense at the. Uh... Okay, so into the world map. Okay, so I'm guessing we've come to quite the expansionist part. And we can't control the camera. So according to that pale keep cut scene, the guy, the two people there were saying that Khan, the leaders of the thieves' guild in the first game, 
feigned his death and used the adventurers in the first game to kill off Xantum. Apparently a conspiracy desires by another group of people to kill Eldrith to take the tower for themselves. So basically the entire, what that cutscene is implying is that the entire first game we were subconsciously helping out another Dark Alliance group or something. Holy shit, that is a revelation and a half right there. I wonder if we can summon my skeleton in town. Oh, we actually can't cast any spells. I guess they have some anti-magic stuff or something. Alright, so I guess we'll go explore around Boulder's Gate, starting with the captain of the city guard, I guess. Greetings, adventurer. I am Solus Dunkirk, captain of the guard. Alright, have you heard, heard, hear any rumors of note wait we? And also, why do you have Boba Fett's helmet in your hat? <laughs> if you're looking for rumors, try a tavern. The purple worm is nearby and good enough. I may have work for you, though. Hazardous, but paying work just the same. Go on. A trio of adventurers recently tore through the city's sewers, slaughtering monsters and unsealing portals. Now the sewers are crawling with all manner of carrion beasts. Beasts I want dead. The city pays well. Are you up for the task? Wow. Another reference to your first game. So we have to go back to the sewers and revisit and kill some more beasts. Yes, I'll, I'll clear the sewers once more. It'll be a nice trip down memory lane. For the beginning of the first game, perhaps. <laughs> what if he's got anything else to say? Let's have a quick chop with him. Greetings again, adventurer. Exterminated all the sewer monsters yet? Not yet, no. Alright. So it looks like we'll be revisiting the sewers. Awesome. So we're in a different part of the city, the Rust Church wasn't here last time, so different representation of um Boulder's Gate, I suppose. Boulder's Gate is a huge city, apparently, according to the uh original PC games. So I guess they can't represent all the city. So we'll see how many uh, side quests we can find around here. I mean, there's probably going to be quite a few, I imagine. I wonder if we're going to be able to sort of... Hmm, the game's taking an interesting turn now. We, we potentially could be um, going all over the place, maybe doing side quests, a bit more open-ended approach here. Item creation doesn't come cheap. There's only thing to fight to catch the golden treasure. Well, we went to the Church of Hell, sure. Look around. Can't seem to talk to the congregation here, by the looks of it. No, but I bet we can talk to this very important looking individual. The Priest of Helm. Greetings. I am Huros, Priest of Helm. How might I assist you? Have you heard any rumors of note lately? Alas, I have not. Okay, well, sorry. May Helm watch over you. Farewell. Okay, well, thanks anyway. Also, we appear to be wearing completely different clothes. I guess we're wearing some kind of civilian cape now to blend in. Not allowed to summon skeletons or anything. Hmm. Oh, we can actually rotate the camera in here. You know, this, this priest stuff reminds me of that stuff with a beholder in the first place. In the first game. The Orb of the Dead. So... I guess he's got nothing for now, but I think we will be returning back to the temple later on. I'll probably check out these side areas a few times as we progress through the game. So nothing of interest in there. I guess we will see what is uh, over here in this dodgy little side area. Hmm. A wor... You can't enter. There is no reason to enter the warehouse now. Oh! I bet we go in there later on. Maybe there's some remnants of the new thieves guild to kill off. I mean, granted, the original trio of adventurers completely annihilated the new Thieves' Guild in the past, but that's no reason to indicate there's some new threats now. Looks like we've got a trader here. Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade, or, or, uh, say, I know you, you're the adventurer that helped Randella Brashorn back on the tradeway, yes? Yeah, that was me, Bartley. Oh, it's an honor to meet. Randella spoke highly of you, and her words like gold. I'm Bartley, a merchant, and my shop boasts many fine deals. Oh god, it's this guy. Remember this guy from the tavern in the first game and his annoying catchphrases? He's back, I guess. And someone said we'll see a few more familiar faces. They weren't kidding. I've also hired on Goodly Durbo, a skilled dwarven artisan. So, 
If you're looking to have equipment custom made or broken down, my workshop will serve you well. And this will be related to the uh, crafting of the game. Alright, so how does this workshop function? It's simple and affordable, my friend. If you've gathered any magical components, magical gems and the like, you can have them crafted into whatever equipment you need. Okay. Or, if you have magical equipment that you'd like broken down for the raw components, and perhaps even be forced into something else, we can do that for a small fee as well. Alright, it's a pretty standard uh, enchantment style gatecraft mechanics, I guess. So have you heard any rumours of note lately, Bartley? Can't say that I have, friend. Nothing of interest to an adventurer, at least. You might ask Randella, though. She's always collecting information about this or that. Alright, so what does your store have to offer then, Bartley? Ah! Oh. You'll find no other merchant with quality and prices to match mine. Oh. I've been supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. Oh god, he's gonna, he's gonna say stuff, isn't he? Well, at least the first thing we can do is sell some stuff off at last. Make some money. So I guess we'll sell off a couple of these um, useless looking things. I keep the greatsword for now. Might need to use that later. We don't have any particular magic items, so I guess we will, uh... <coughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. I so. receive new shipments frequently, so if you don't see something here now, check back from time to time. Okay, I will do. Thank you, uh, Bartley. Don't give me another wooden shield for now. Oh, God, I just sold my shield. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm not even using it anyway. <laughs> I really am not. So I guess we could sell off all these rings, but should we sell all of them? Hmm. We'll probably find if more rings. Weapons or armor to protect you from someone else's. You come to the right place. I might keep the amulet in case we can enchant it, but all these sodding rings are going to be sold. Also, we found out last time, thanks to uh, Antonio XI13, in other words. Um, that apparently rune stones can be used to improve weapons and armor, so we should definitely keep hold of that and not sell it at all. I'm going to keep the helmet in case we can, in case we go armor upgrade. Alright, so let's see what weapons we can get from Bartley. Ooh, a fine long sword, a defending staff, a fine white mace of disruption, a fey dagger, and a short sword of corruption for 4,400. Hmm. That's an interesting one. We could just go out and purchase that. But I'm going to hold off on buying anything for now because, unlike the last game where it was kind of like we kind of knew what stuff to buy, we might have to play this a bit differently. That seems pretty good too, a two hander. So we're going to hold off on buying for now. Well, I might consider getting some armor upgrades if there's any to be had. That would definitely be useful. Leather armor. I think these are all studded leather armor. But on the other hand, armor I think we will always upset. Got some scale. Got some fine studded leather armor, which we could upgrade to. Oh, that's a 10. Weighs a lot, but that'll be an upgrade. I think we'll buy the armor, I think. So we'll buy all of these. For now. And get ourselves upgraded. Get ourselves a bit more health. So I'm going to take all of that. I guess we don't need the helmet anymore. Welcome back, friend. Alright, so I want to sell off all this inferior gear now. I don't really need any more. That should give us enough armor for the time being, I think. Nothing else to really offer there. I want to see if he offers anything uh, else in the uh, potion set to find Ring of Battle. Doesn't really explain what that does, though. Ring of Battle. Does anyone in the chat? Um, sorry, the comments. Getting okay, confused between streaming and what's playing here. I wonder if anyone knows what the Ring of Battle does. I'd like to know that. So that we can buy rune stones, moonstones, rubies. I'm guessing these are all involved in enchantment, so they'll be useful perhaps later. All right, so let's take a look at the workshop real quick, shall we? Ah, no modifiable weapons, armor, or trinkets for now. Okay, I guess we'll be coming back here later when we have better weapons and stuff, so... Okay, I guess that is that for now. Ooh, and here we have a purple worm in Antavan. 
Wow, it's quite a lot to take in in this new Baldur's Gate. Not definitely not as simple as the last game, for sure. Might be not the most exciting. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. And then it's a dwarf. And here we are with our new armor, on, making an entrance. There's some people there having a bit of a flirt or whatever. Okay, so this is the uh, tavern. Let's see who we can talk to, eh? I think we'll start with Randella again. Ha! Huh, I thought you might seek me out. Come have a seat, and we shall drink and sing the day away. As much as I'd love to, I'm seeking work. You spoke of associates that could use my skills? I've two troubling tales to tell. Firstly, there's been a series of kidnappings. Some victims number among the city's wealthy elite. Death lies in their future should ransom or rescue not be made. Oh boy. There has also been a rash of mysterious grisly murders. There have been some leads but little progress, and more mutilated corpses turn up each night. So, still interested? You'll be well paid for your efforts, of course. Hmm. Murders or kidnappings? Um... I hope we get to do both, so I'm going to choose the kidnappings for now. The Hands of Glory, a band of vicious criminals, are responsible. The ransom demands are ridiculous, far beyond the means of even the wealthiest victims' families. Some think it all merely a sadistic excuse to send back severed body parts. Okay. The city guard knows a frontal attack could result in the murder of the hostages. Many families think a small group would have the best chance of success. This is you. All right. My uh, less savory friends have informed me of where the victims are held. A Hands of Glory lair hidden beneath an old warehouse in southwest Baldur's Gate. Aha! It's that warehouse. I guess we'll be able to go there now. So tell me about the Hands of Glory. The Hands? They're the new thieves guild in Baldur's Gate. A band of assassins that took advantage of the power vacuum created when the last guild was destroyed. Murderous scum, all of them. No one knows who leads them. So there's a new Thieves Guild called the Hands of Glory who took power from the new Thieves Guild in the first game who took the power from the old Thieves Guild who weren't too bad. <sighs> Some things never change. Anyway, I'm returning when I've succeeded. Farewell. I guess hopefully we'll be able to do both quests, so we'll come back and do the murders one a little later. Can we talk to the barkeep? No, we certainly cannot. Guess we'll go talk to the other people around here. Let's see who can we have. Someone guarding a ladder, <laughs> just for some having stuff, I guess. Oh, talk to this mysterious great quote person, Ula. Be gone, stranger. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Okay. <laughs> That's an entire introduction there. A dark-skinned elf. Are you a drow? Am I? No. I'm merely a darkly tan gold elf. I laid out too long on the sparkling beaches of Evermeet. Now, farewell. Our conversation is over. And why are you wearing the robes then if you're a darkly tanned gold elf? She's a drow, I think. Anyway, have you heard any rumors of Note lately? Alright, well, I don't say anything then. Fine. You're a dark elf. I'm not convinced you're a gold elf that was tanned to the extreme. All right, let's talk to Durban. Ah, away with you. Didn't your mother ever teach you never to bother a dwarf in his cups? But if I'm bringing another cup, have an ale, good dwarf, on me. Ha, that's different then. My thanks for the ale. What do you want? A typical dwarf, always about his drink, eh? Anyway, hear any rumors of note lately? Yes, it so happens I have the vault key for a treasure chamber in the halls of the hammer. Could be of some use, if you're ever there. The holes of the hammer, okay. The holes of the hammer? What are they? So I said, an abandoned dwarf hold, far to the north of here, across the high moor. Abandoned dwarf hold, far to the north of here, across the high Hmm, and it seems that we can offer him some payment for this. Um, I'm going to give him all the money. Perhaps this will be worthwhile. So here, take my 3,000 gold coins, Durban. Ha! <laughs> Not likely. But some like that, it hardly buy me boots. Okay. Do we not have 3,000, or is he not interested? 
Well, guess not. Yeah, we do have 3,000, but uh, he's not uh, interested. I guess we have to offer him a lot more than three. Very well. I guess we'll come back to him a bit later. I suppose. Uh, wasn't Kira around here somewhere? I could have sworn we saw Kira again. Why am I seeing things? Uh, let's have a w Oh, there she is. <laughs> well met again, adventurer. Many are grateful for your help, I'm certain. So, Kira, have you heard any rumors of note lately? I've heard little. Only that adventurers are hard up for work in the city. So many came to fight Eldrith, but she's already been vanquished. Tell me what happened. <laughs> what happened? There was Eldrith in the Dark Alliance she was gathering to destroy the city. But that's why you came to Baldur's Gate, isn't it? To defeat her? Well, not according to the war in the manual, but yes, I guess that's a good cause as well. Go on. Well, it's been done. Three adventurers journeyed into the wild, found Eldrith's Black Tower, and slew her. The tower crumbled, vanished. And the three heroes with it. That's all I know. Yeah, that was a really hard task. All we had to do was hit her with an onyx sword a few times, and she died. <laughs> do you know anything about the three adventurers? I met them once, when they came into the Elfsong Tavern. An archer, a warrior, a shield dwarf, I think, and a moon elf sorceress. Go on. I came into the city with a caravan from Om. Xantum's thieves robbed it, but the adventurers helped recover everything. They also killed all the thieves, even Xantum himself. But then the Hands of Glory came. And this definitely confirms that she's the same Kira from the last game, because we helped her recover a box of spices, if I remember correctly. But anyway, about the Hands of Glory... A society of assassins who've risen to power in the city's criminal underworld. Xantum destroyed the old thieves' guild, adventurers destroyed Xantum's, and now it's the Hands of Glory. The worst of the lot so far. So it would appear. Alright, so, in short, things have not massively improved so much, it would appear. And I guess Kira's role here is to basically provide exposition if you, I don't know, didn't play the first game or something and you're just coming to this blind, which is kind of nice, I guess. It means you can get into this game without having necessarily played um, the first one. But for me, having played the first one, <laughs> oh, I'm just happy to hear all this being told again. I guess that's where we can enter the sewers for the guard quest. So we've also got the warehouse to consider as well. Well, why don't us check out any more places? Undeal's Manor. This might be a long and not exactly the most interesting part, but next time at least we'll be full of combat. So I want to see what all these places have. Uh, I was about to say it's just going to be some kind of a fighting area, but no, it's just a nicely decorated manor. Alright, so here's Omdio. Oh, I did not see you come in. Are you, um, did you, uh, should I have something prepared for you? Who are you? Me? Oh, why, uh, well, that's easy. I'm, I'm Omdwil, sage and seer, for hire, uh, but not now. Uh, hiring, I mean. Uh, too much work, yes. Uh, too many projects already. Ah, Omdwil. This is what my character, Yuzurin, has trekked to see. I've come a long way to speak to you. Oh, yes, of course you have. You knew? Of course, Omdwil, sage and seer. Uh, seer, my good elf. <laughs> I thought you might come with questions about your past. I've reserved some time. Yes, just for you, but uh, my time is expensive, I warn you. I I'm an old man and time is precious to me. All right. Hmm. I can pay you 2,000 gold. Confirmations, then. Yes, always a good start. Uh, your name is indeed Isaran, as you surmise from that black tome you carry. Isaran Aundril. A noble name, yes? Okay, so we're from nobility. And noble it is, which you might have found had you not been turned away in the Grey Cloak Hills. A name of princes. You are no longer welcome in Evereska, last of the great hidden cities of the elves. Though I cannot yet tell you why. Alright, so we are from nobility, but we were rejected from the last hidden city of Evereska. Alright, so 
I've worked more of my past to be gaining some lost memories and experience. Which gains us some experience points and a nice level up. Brilliant! So once again, we can level up. So I think this time I'm going to improve that shield because that definitely seemed useful. So I'm going to put that up so we can get 20% absorb and a plus 7 to armor class. Hmm. Or we could improve it twice and have 30% absorb and plus 8 to armor class. Or do we put the point on haste? Ooh, makes it last three extra seconds. I'm trying to think, trying to think. Um, I think I will actually put both points on shield this time and get it all the way up to 30% absorb because this shield does seem quite useful since it lasts a fair bit. So I'm going to stick both points on the shield this time. And maybe next time I will consider doing um, the haste. Get, I'm definitely going to get haste up, I think, to max. And I think shield... I'm not so sure about life drain at the moment, but I'm definitely getting haste and shield to max, I think, for the moment. So, we got both of those points, and also we're now 2,000 coins off. Uh, we've... Uh, we've met before. Uh, 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 yes! Ah, oh, yes! We have, yes. Uh, how might I help you? Seems like we're going to be talking to this guy several times for, um memories, I guess. Have you heard any rumors of note lately? Um, yes, yes, but, but but for me, you see, rumors and their ill come I trade. I do not simply dispense them for nothing, as I would feed the birds in my garden, no. Okay, fine. Very well, yes. Ah, we don't have enough to pay him for more memories. So basically, in a crude terms, he's an experience guy. He gives you experience for things. I see. What was that? Open door. Seems to be locked. The door is locked. It won't move. Hmm. I wonder if we can open those doors later on in the game. So we'll be coming back to Omdiro several times, I guess, during our let's play to get more memories slash experience. Great fortitude is handiest early in the game when you don't have many hit points. Defeat becomes less useful as your character grows more powerful. Okay, so maybe we don't put any more points in Great Fortitude after a, a time. Maybe just a one point will do. We'll just see how it goes from there. So, there's only one place left on the map that we can sort of have a quick peek at to see what it leads to. And I guess that will be a wrap for this part. A lot of talking for sure, but my last wet, the wet play of the original was for talking too, I guess. Woodmire Manor. Sounds like an ominous place. It might be part of the town, but I don't know. But I will reserve that query for next time. Take a save here. Because looks like we've got some things to do. We've got a a warehouse to go to, some sewers to clean out, and who knows what else besides. So, what do you all think of this part? Are you impressed with how they've represented Boulder's Gate this time around? What do you think will happen in the sewers and in the warehouse? What will happen to our three poor adventures from the last game? And will Khan indeed return? who probably is hard to kill, may have feigned his death. Well, and any other general comments below, you know, skill builds, what weapons I should take, anything I should work towards, anything at all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time for part 6 of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, where there'll be a lot less conversation and a little more action, please. See you next time, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance fans, next time.